Hey, it's Mike. Welcome to another episode of MIJ Supplemental, where we dig into the finer details of vintage Japanese guitar production. Today, we'll be looking at Fender Japan's early model tiers and the hows and whys of each tier. When Fender Japan burst onto the scene in 1982, their inaugural models were largely based on vintage reissues of Strats and Tellys. The concept of vintage reissue was brand new on the market in 1982, as Fender had never reissued an instrument's earlier feature set. And while Fender USA, who also made their first vintage reissue models in 1982, would offer a single 1957 Stratocaster and a single 1962 Stratocaster, Fender Japan would offer three different variations on this model. To expound on this concept, we'll be zeroing in on Fender Japan's 1962 Stratocaster models, and to do that, we'll be looking deep into the 1983 catalog. Now you may be wondering why we're not looking at the 1982 Fender Japan catalog, as that was, in fact, the first year of Fender Japan production. The reason for that is that the 82 Fender Japan catalog is just the USA catalog translated into Japanese. It wouldn't be until 1983 that Fender Japan laid out their various model tiers in a catalog. These come to be known as the JV models, as the JV prefix serial stood for Japanese Vintage. Fender would abbreviate their 1962 Stratocaster model as the ST62, and the suffix would denote the model tier. The three models are the top tier ST62-115, the mid-tier ST62-85, and the base model ST62-65. These model suffixes were also helpful for the Japanese consumer, as the suffix would denote the price in yen. For example, the ST62-65 cost 65,000 yen when sold new. The top tier ST62-115 model was essentially identical in its feature set to the Fender USA made guitars from the Fullerton, California factory. Both models had nitro lacquer finishes, alder bodies, maple necks, slab rosewood fretboards, and steel tremolo blocks. The electronics were identical in that Fender Japan used a complete Fender USA wiring harness and pickups. These included gray, red, or black bobbin pickups as used in Fender's earliest Fullerton reissue Stratocasters from 1982 to 84, 250K CTS pots, and a three-way switch. In fact, the only real difference between the Fender Japan and USA made models from this tier was the country of manufacture, and small details like the neck carve or the body contours would be the only real changes of note. While Fender's Fullerton California factory necks from 1982 to 84 can be a bit severe in their shape, they're pretty shallow, have minimal shoulder, and don't always have much of a rolled fretboard edge, Fender Japan necks from this era can be a bit closer to actual 1950s and 60s vintage spec. They're a bit rounder, they have a bit more roll on the edge, they're really inviting to the hand. Even with our contacts in Japan, we see very few of these top tier Fender Japan Stratocasters, and when we do, they sell extremely quickly, pretty much on par with the pricing of the USA made models. Dropping down to the ST62-85 model tier, this guitar loses its nitro lacquer finish for a gloss poly, and the USA made CTS pots are replaced with full size Japanese pots. The other somewhat substantive switch is the pickups. Now, these pickups are still purportedly USA made, with black fiber bobbins and cloth covered leads. In fact, they are closer in appearance to vintage coils than the pickups offered in Fender Japan's top tier model. Hardware and plastics are identical to the top tier ST62-115, and so are the Tonewoods. And finally, the base model ST62-65. These are awesome guitars, and we can't stress enough the quality across Fender Japan's three model tiers in the JV era. Again, all tone woods remain the same on this model, as do the plastics. The steel tremolo block is swapped out for a die cast zinc block, and the pickups are Japanese made. Yet, these pickups are largely functionally the same as the higher model tiers. They still have black fiber bobbins and staggered Alnico magnets. So what's the most conclusive way to ID the model tier of your Fender Japan JV Stratocaster? It's easy. In the neck pocket, these are stamped A, B, or C to denote the model tier. A is the highest tier, B is the mid tier, and C is the base model. 
The pots and pickups will also be conclusive in determining the model tier. The bobbin color of the pickups, whether the leads are plastic or cloth covered, and whether the pots are USA made by CTS or Japanese made. Fender Japan's three-tiered model system was largely relegated to Stratocasters, and the 52 Tele would only have two model tiers. Many Fender Japan models would be relegated to a single catalog entry. But that isn't to say that there wouldn't be numerous non-catalog models, and these would have matching headstocks, premium finishes, or custom routes or electronics. When we're lucky, those exact model designations will be on hang tags or stamped in neck pockets, and this increases our understanding of the vast array of models produced by Fender Japan in this era. Thanks for taking the usual deep dive with us today. For all of our Fender Japan guitars and everything else we have here at the Guitar Bar, please check out mmguitarbar.com and stay tuned for another episode of MIJ Supplemental.